This is the all new Hardy Marksman Z. All right, so we're really excited to introduce you guys to the all new Hardy Marksman Z, okay? Uh, out here fishing today, really giving this thing a, a, a test. Um, looking for redfish and uh, they're pretty spooky, pretty calm, pretty clear conditions. And I've uh, been fishing this rod this morning and I must say I'm extremely impressed with it. So uh, a little bit about this rod. So this is the seven weight, a four piece. Nine weight, uh, nine weight. Four piece, nine foot, seven weight. Uh, these come in 6 through 12 weight. Uh, 6 through 12 comes in the 4-piece model, and then the 8 through 12 come in the 1-piece model. Uh, these are going to be $995 in the 4-piece and $1,050 in the 1-piece. And it is a steep price point, yes, but Hardy is basically sticking to the similar price they did in the Zane Pro. And this rod uh, is taking the place as the flagship saltwater rod in their lineup. Uh, compared to the Zane Pro, it is not like a Zane Pro at all. Okay, this is an all new, brand new rod from them. And uh, go through some of the specs of it. It's got a single Seracoil guide uh, into a recoil strip uh, stripping guide into the full titanium double footed snake guides. And the feel of this rod is extremely fast, but what I've really loved about it is it's still easy loading and it's extremely accurate. So I really, you know, we're out here, I mean, we're probably in eight inches of water right now looking for tailing redfish. And if I needed to make a really long shot where I punch this into some wind, this rod really has the backbone uh, and, the, and the recovery to be able to do that. But the nice thing about this rod is that it's not just a fast rod. Some rods that are extremely fast lack feel. This is a Orvis Hydros, or not Orvis Hydros, the Orvis Tropic Plus fly line in a seven weight. It's a true grain weight, 185 uh, fly line. and at short distance, I can open the loop up and I can land this fly extremely soft to these tailing redfish that are really shallow right now. I just really feel like this rod is going to check a lot of boxes for a lot of um, really technical fly fishermen, okay? It has the power and it has the, the, the backbone to throw heavier lines and bigger flies, but it also has the finesse that it's gonna be a really awesome bonefish rod because you're able to throw it in the wind, you're able to open up the loop if you need to, uh, to throw to those tailing fish, but it's gonna be a rod that you can throw the same rod all day and it's gonna be able to cover a wide array of conditions. All right, so one of the most impressive parts about this rod, especially in a seven weight, I brought one of the one piece eight weights with me too, but haven't really felt the need for it, is line pickup. And we're fishing where we're at um, in the Dunedin area, it's turtle grass. And so when fish are tailing in it, you gotta be extremely accurate with your casts. And a lot of times if you're not accurate with your cast, you know, you, ca you can't really strip through the turtle grass without spooking the fish. So one thing that I've really enjoyed about this rod is the ability to pick line up. So um, I've probably got 40 feet of line out right now and on a seven weight normally i'd have to strip in quite a bit further uh, but the nice thing is i can water load this thing and cast right back out um, i mean now i'm way out there what really test it but i mean i still was able to pick that up out of the water so for a seven weight rod to be able to do that uh, is just extremely impressive uh, i will say in casting the lineup the jump from super light duty saltwater into the bigger saltwater is that seven to eight. Uh, the eight to nine is not nearly as big of a jump. Um, the seven to eight is where, you know, there is, there is a jump in, in the size and the way that it feels. So uh, I probably wouldn't want to pu pull on a 40 inch snook uh, in the mangroves with this, but uh, the eight weight um, or nine weight is where you start to get into those um, where you could do a little bit heavier saltwater stuff. And, um, you know, I just really like that because it gives me the ability to fish a seven weight a lot of the time, which right now we're trying to set these flies down extremely, extremely quietly. Uh, and this seven weight just is awesome to be able to pick it up and just be right back out there. 
All right, so there it is. We have the full lineup of these rods at the shop, so come cast them. Uh, we'll pair them up with different lines for whatever you're thinking and um, really help out. But uh, I really just think in closing that this rod's gonna do a ton and check a lot of boxes for a lot of people. Uh, and you know, make sure that you guys like this video, subscribe to our channel, it really helps us out. Um, comment if you think this video is helpful or any videos you'd like to see in the future.